I am happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive because I had a guy follow me to my car earlier at the grocery store. Yeah, it's never George Clooney that follows you to your car at a grocery store. <laughs> no, this guy had a tattoo that said, just do me. Yeah, no, on his face, on his face. He had about four teeth in his mouth. That's not an estimation, I'm rounding up from three and a half. And uh, he had that one crazy guy eye, you know, that just gone rogue. It looked like it was being remotely controlled by a cashier at register too. Yeah, and this guy cabbage patches his way up to me. And he says, I had to follow you to your car because you look so good in your pants. And then he reached into his pocket, pulled out a piece of chicken and started eating it. Yeah, every girl's dream. So as I'm loading my groceries into my car going, gee, I wonder where they're gonna find my body eventually. He says, are you married? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm married. And then he says, what did you do that for? What about everyone else? And uh, I snapped. I did. I was like, you know what? No one cared that I was single before I got married. Nobody cared. You know, where were you when I had to pay my cousin $50 to take me to the prom? Where were you then? Yeah. Where were you when I cut off all of my hair in my Annie Lennox phase? And everybody called me Bill for two years. No, two years, even after it grew back. Yeah, and I have an idea. Why don't you put your chicken back in your pocket and at least offer to help me load these groceries into my car, you know, like a gentleman? Uh, and then his eyes widened, individually, of course. And uh, he just simply turned and walked away. And I guess that's when I realized I'm too crazy to abduct and murder?